Hey guys, Lister here back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install a trainer and the ASI loader for mods on GTA 5. So jump right in. First thing you're going to want to do is go to this website. I'll put the link in the description and just download that. That's a script to 5 and native trainer. So once you've done that, you'll have this file. You'll need to download uh, WinRAR to extract it. Just right click extract the script hook 5 and you get this folder you want to go into that go into the bin and you want to copy all three of these files that's the trainer and both of these are one's the ASI loader and one's the script hook so just copy all three of those so from here we want to go to the GTA 5 directory Mine installed through Steam, so mine will be in Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, oh, wrong one, Common, and GTA 5, right there. So once you're in here, you just want to paste those three files in, and that's it. So I'll jump into the game and I'll see you there. Alright guys, so as you can see we're in GTA 5 here, so I'm going to show you how to use the trainer. First things first, to get the trainer menu up you need to press F4 and to move about the menu you use your uh, numpad so the arrows on the numpad up and down and 5 is your sort of selection so I'm going to spawn the Zentoro car so if I go to vehicle, car spawner I think it's on the 31st page Oh no, yeah. So there it is. If I had five on that spawn, so if I jump into that, I can go back to vehicle and hit paint random and just paint it a random color. So then you can also do th things like speed boost, strong wheels, make the car invincible, and there's also vehicle rockets, get all weapons, the, all the usual stuff a trainer has. So just a uh, quick tutorial on it for the speed boost you press 9 on your numpad and as you can see pretty metal oh god and if you use 3 you can actually just stop yourself instantly no matter what you're doing you know if I just press 3 it just stops and then the vehicle rockets is actually the plus on the numpad so it's metal it's great fun blow up everything. You can also get explosive bullets which does the exact same thing. Just completely mess about the place. So you guys you can see there I've got a wanted level. I can just go down to player and hit wanted down or just hit never wanted and I'll never be wanted. So zero is the back the back out on the numpad to go back to the other menu before. And that's basically it. You can do other stuff like if I have player I can change the skin and I can be anything, dolphin, whale, there's actually 70 menus, I've never used this before but I think you can be chop, where's chop, there's chop, you know so you can just mess about with it. Alright guys well before I finish this tutorial I'm actually going to show you how to install another mod so that you can install other mods yourselves. Alright guys, so now you can see that the trainer is pretty helpful, it's fun to play with, but I'm just going to show you how to install a general mod. So I have this mod downloaded, I'll put the link in the description for it as well. And it's actually a speedo for all the cars. It's pretty cool, it has like the badge of each car in the speedo in the center and stuff. So downloaded it, extracted it and here you can see there's a .asi and a folder with all the parts of the mod so realistically now that we have the ASI loader installed it's just a matter of copying those two files going straight to the GTA 5 directory and pasting that in and I'll show you how that looks at the game so I'll see you there alright guys so as you can see we're back in GTA 5 here and I've spawned this in Toro again and just to show you what the speedo looks like pretty awesome see it it'll come up after that 
So there you go. See the way it says the Pegasi? Because it's a Pegasi Zentoro. So, depending on the car color, the that the needle changes color, which is pretty cool. But it's pretty awesome. As you can see, if I use the speed boost, it just shoots up. <laughs> Alright guys, well I'm going to end the tutorial here. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped anyone looking to install GTA 5 mods and have a bit of fun. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!